Cooking next is a man who's built himself an armada of award-winning tapas bars, all in the same square mile of South East London. It's the brilliant Jose Pizarro. We are getting just mass, 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 mass. Is that nearly? What, what, Pizarro. 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 Uh, lovely, lovely. I'm there. Lovely. I'm there. So on the menu, we've got some. Well, you've got sort of two tapas that you're making, but yep. I see this stuff over I here. Bring, so. uh, always, you know, I love to bring some present for you. Uh, this is delicious. And this is the best ham that you can get in Spain. Normally, I never cook with that, yeah. you know, because it's so expensive. So, so on the menu for is, you today... We're I, going to talk about that in a minute, but you know yeah, you want to get these... It's going to be the chicken wings, yeah. straight away, like that. The only thing you have to do is just pan fry or pan dry right. very well. So just with yeah? a tea towel or something Exactly. Like that. Okay. that you're going to make nice and, um, and crispy outside. Okay. Yeah? So these straight are away, the, yeah. like that. If you don't have a fryer, deep no, fryer... No, nothing, just straight in the deep fryer. But if you don't have any <coughs> fryer at home, you just... Sauce pan, plenty yeah. of olive oil, that and just it. keep turn over. Yeah? Okay, shallow fry them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, from you, I need uh, <coughs> some shallot. Yeah. Because uh, <coughs> this is for uh, that's for one tapas, but we've yeah. got the second one and here. The second which is... one is going to be the peas. Yeah. It's going to be with jamón. Mm? Right. Try, try a little bit this one. They're gonna keep. This now this one. is the abérico, which is. I have something for you guys. Just a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. You deserve it. Sun energy for tonight. Okay. This is delicious, I have to say. Sun olive oil. Danny, if you've never tasted, there's mm. two types, but the Iberico that you tried. Oh, wow. The Iberico is the, that means the Iberico is 100% bellota, means uh, acorns. Wow. They, those animals have been eating Fantastic. just acorns. Yeah. They are wild animals, acorn, grass, mushrooms, maybe some mouse, you know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit yeah. of mozzarella, a little bit of basil, be gorgeous. It is, mm. it is incredible, but you have that mainly with, well, I've had that in uh, La Bucura Market in Barcelona yeah. with manchego oh, cheese wow. and olive oil, that's it. But I think really a product like that one, so good. Just needs you to be really a... need to do nothing, you yeah. know? Yeah. Just keep it simple and that's it. Yeah. Some garlic, you're doing the shallot for me. I've got the garlic, yeah. Lovely. There you go. And Bam, you the peas as well. In. There. So you mentioned that, I mean, that's like a wild pig, but the, I mean, the pork is so highly prized over yeah. in Spain. I have to think you've got one of the best larders in the world in Spain. Absolutely. It's incredible. Spain is like Italy, well, like every single Mediterranean country. You know, we have the most amazing olive oil, the most amazing vinegars, pimenton, yeah. the best paprika for me in the world. Yeah. Um, we have uh, saffron from La Mancha. No, it's a um, very nice yeah. place to... Yeah. To start looking, no? But not um, only for the ham, but you actually, the, you can sell that sort of, uh, well, I've seen it, but, uh, but you can actually buy the raw yeah. uh, pork as well, the Iberico pork. When I put, uh, long ago, when I was working at Brothers, I right. put um, Iberico pork, medium rare, on the menu. Right. All people was, look, you crazy, you crazy, you can't eat pork, <laughs> medium rare. Yes. People love it. And it's still in the menu, yeah. I think. Um, yeah. Beef. But you can with Iberico, but yeah. You can do with Iberico, only yeah. with Iberico. Yeah. Like that. Go. And, and need some more garlic. That one. Go. Like right. that. We've got the peas over here. These the are just fresh Spain, garden peas. The thing is, Spain, we are 17 different countries in one, to say that. Um, 17 different yeah. countries in one? Yeah. To say that. North, south. Right. Completely different. North is colder, south is more warm, you know. Um, it's like the UK, though, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Like you are from the north, huh? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> this is why you are... This is the tropics down here. <laughs> yes. Yep. We need the piece on the pan. Yeah. Right. Some more garlic there. So, anyway, you've got the, the garden peas over here. So, mm -hmm. the, you're cooking the garlic gonna... with no colour on here. You want the peas in here? Peas in there. Yeah. Lovely. They're in. Lovely, lovely. Some more garlic Next. here. Next is the very good. Can you slice for me? Don't eat all, please. <laughs> Chicken wings are getting lovely golden color. It's what we are looking. Nice, mm. crispy outside, and it's yeah. gonna stay nice and moist right. inside. Yeah. So with garlic. Basic. Yeah. One more. Now okay. you just have you just it's finished nice. the book or just written the no, book? No, just launched my book now. Right. Yeah, lovely, yeah. lovely. This recipe is from the book. Yeah. Um, it's more about Spanish ingredients. The last one was Spanish seasonal food. This one, yeah, there. Yeah. Some stock, like that. Yeah. Uh, lid over, on. yes please. And now with the garlic, bubbling, did you say yeah. that? Yeah, bubbling, yeah. Bubbling. But no, you don't want to colour it, that's all. A little bit. Oh, yeah. We're going to leave there. Okay. 
So this is the, the book's all about sort of region to region then. Yeah? Region, I divide the book, the book in five regions: north, east, right. central, um, and the south, yeah. and the island. Right. Oof. You got it there. Well, I thought you were adding a few more there. Can you imagine? My publisher Kyle is not going to be very the happy. The publishers are bigger than ring. We missed out a chapter. <laughs> yeah, it's right. more about the ingredients. Right. Doesn't need to be a Spanish recipes, you know. I even okay. do pasta with yeah. chorizo and mussels. So which region yeah. is this one from? Then? This one is from the central. And that central one? of Spain as well. It's where are the I'm coming from, Extremadura. Lovely. Yeah. Right. Now the egg. The egg. Yeah. Like that. Okay. And cover. Some so salt. this is a tapas, you would just serve it in the pots then, I take it? Yeah. As simple as that, for yeah. dinner, beautiful. Uh-huh. And just keep it like that. Hmm? Easy as that. Uh, now, of course, all of today's studio recipes, including this one from Jose, are on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. And you find dishes from our previous shows at bbc.co.uk forward slash recipes. Right, I know you want to put some... Is there. This now, stuff. So, so, so yeah. this is, you can get, is that the smoked one? This smoked. is the smoked one and right. it's uh, sweet. You have sweet, bittersweet and hot. Right. I think hot here is going to be too much. Cause because you've got you the know. chili flakes yeah. in there as well. And right? now, the garlic. Oh, the, the vinegar. That's sherry vinegar. That is lovely. Yeah. And it's almost ready. Now, tell us about your restaurants then, because you've got a little, they're expanding, expanding. No, no anymore. Not anymore. You've no stopped. anymore. Right. I think I did very well. Right. <laughs> two books, two restaurants, one book, and yeah. that's it. <laughs> and that's it um, for you then, is it? At the moment. Yeah. Parcel is there. We are going to take it out. The wings from the fryer. What's this on my piece of paper? You've, you've won a... You, you've been named Harper's Bazaar On-Trade Personality of the Year. Amazing. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. For me, it's amazing to be, to be there, recognised for that magazine. Yes. I yeah. had this, I an award last week for what? Best Woman's Gadget in the Kitchen. But you are gorgeous, I mean. <laughs> you blue I eye. Take that. <laughs> take it as a compliment. <laughs> no, but the restaurant is doing well, I have to say. Pizarro is amazing. Yeah. I'll say the tapas bar is just unbelievable. Yeah, it's happy days. Check that Happy, out. happy days. Yeah. Yes? Like that. So that's the garlic, chilli, paprika yeah. going in. Parsley. Parsley, please. The These are mm. delicious. They are good. Some more salt. I think the egg should be ready. Just turn it up a little bit. Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah. And just start plating. Like and how that. quick I... was that as well? Absolutely. It's a beautiful, can you imagine, days like today, summer, you need something like this. Sitting outside in the garden, glass of beer, or cava. Yeah. <laughs> and just, heaven. Yeah, I hear you. Heaven, like that. Sounds good. And then we've got our egg, which is that great like little tapas. It's there. already done. Like that. Uh -huh -huh. Some more salt, I think. It's going to look nice. Some more parsley. Uh -huh. And it is chicken wings al ajillo, we say that in Spain, with chili and, um, and garlic, and garden peas, now in season, with jamón and egg. Don't forget the jamón. Jamón, jamón. And egg. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Jose's chicken wings with braised peas are an inspired cross between a lazy morning after and an indulgent night before. So what wine goes with both a party and its aftermath? Well, one really good versatile option that's quite local is sherry. I've got a beautiful Amontillado VORS by Hidalgo, which is available in specialist shops. But there's no better wine to drink in celebration and defeat than fizz. And Spain's great speciality is cava. And I've got a fabulous one here. This is the Colonio Selección Raventos. I have to confess that I've never been a massive fan of cava, but there have been huge improvements in quality of late, and it can be fantastic value for money, just like this one. You might think it's a bit odd to have fizz with your food, but when you try it, this one really works because it's rich enough to offset that spice of the chicken wings. You also got these lovely lemony herbal flavors which work really well with the saltiness of the ham and the braised peas. Finally, it's just rounded and delicious and moorish, just like this dish. So Jose, I know you're partial to a drop of sherry, but here's a cracking carver 
for you to enjoy too. Salut.